They told me I was too young. They told me I needed more training. Huh? I told them to drop dead. How ironic. I don't know how I survived that fall. Something strange must have happened. My pulse is beating like a drum, but my blood is running cold. I'm not sure what's going on, but I came here with a question. And I'm gonna find the answer if it kills me. Hey there guys, Midian here, and welcome to Crypt of the Necrodancer. This is going to be episode one of a fairly regular series, I hope, which may seem strange considering I've put a good few dozen Necrodancer videos out already, but I figured this is a perfect time to celebrate. The game has just come out of early access and is now a complete full game, which is a bit weird because the game felt pretty damn good before, so now it's got to be even better, right? What's new in version 1.3? A final zone has been added! I am hyped for that. You can now beat the game. Unique final boss battles for the protagonist Cadmus, Melody, and Arya. Two entirely new soundtracks to play the game to. That's pretty, pretty cool. New story cinematics explaining what's going on. One new insanely difficult character. We aren't sure it's humanly possible to complete that. That sounds fun. New achievements, blah blah blah. Codex balance tweets, etc, etc. The game's finally released and I couldn't be happier. I have had so much fun playing the game while it's in early access, so I am pretty hyped for this. There's that Zone 4. Taunting me. Alright, I want to give Story Mode a try, which I believe requires you to beat the game as Cadence, then Melody, then Arya. So yeah, that might be a little bit difficult. Let's give it a try. Play as Cadmus, then Melody, then Arya. Complete the whole story in one go. Yes, I would like to continue. What on earth are these? Oh my god, the game has so many new things that are just like... There. That don't really do anything. I like that. What's the uh, word for that? There's a word for that. Atmosphere. I think that is not the word I was looking for, but whatever. I'm probably going to be playing a lot worse because I'm trying to talk while playing. Yeah, I'm missing beats already. Which is bad. Alright. Hmm. An obsidian flail is really good. I think I'll grab this. It's probably not as good because I'm going to be playing poorly, but I'll make it work. Now, because I didn't talk in my earlier Necrodancer videos, it might be, have been a bit confusing as to what was going on, so I'll try to explain what's going on. This is a roguelike rhythm game. Everything's randomly generated, which is cool. And you have to move to the beat. You can hear the beat, as well as see it on the bottom of the screen there. You have a little bit of leeway, so you don't have to be 100% precise. And yeah, the item I have, the flail, hits in five spaces around you to the front and to your immediate sides. So it's one of the better weapons in the game. And it also has a knockback. And because I have the obsidian version, I do damage based on my coin multiplier. So if my multiplier is one, meaning I had just missed a beat or something, like that, I totally did that on purpose to prove my point. Um, I will only do one damage, which I can't show off now because everything's dead. But, uh, just take my word for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy the, uh, plus one damage Strange Vision Sunglasses. Which are one of my favorite items, and I'll grab a torch because I like having a little bit of light. Helps you to see secret rooms. So yeah. 
And if my multiplier is at 2, I do 2 damage, and if my multiplier is at 3, I do 3 damage. And I'm doing terribly because I'm trying to explain things. I am sorry. I will be very terrible at the game. Alright, what do we have in here? Ooh, nice boots, nice shovel. I would like both of these things, but I might not get enough money for them. You can hear the rumble rumblings of a boss. Now this is what the strange vision part of the sunglasses does. It makes all the enemies shadows, which really isn't too bad. Everything you do, every item you get, every spell you get, um, is used with uh, some combination of arrow keys. So, when you get an item, it's usually set to up left at the very start. Yeah, and I'm playing pretty poorly because I'm, I'm going to blame it on the fact that I'm commentating. It might just be the fact that I haven't played in a few days. Because I skipped my last few dailies. have enough for both of those items. Gotta go the long way around to get this. Now, these things spawn differently now. You can't just walk back and immediately kill them. The ghosts, that is. I seem to be getting less gold than I'm used to. Is that because I'm not playing on, um daily challenge mode and I'm playing on story mode? Because the places seem smaller. So it looks like I can only buy one of the items. My choices are a shovel, which is really good, or plus one damage boots. I don't think I'm going to need the boots. I already have one plus one damage item. So I'll buy this and the ring of mana gives me more powerful spells, which is useless right now because I don't have any spells, but I had no way of knowing that was what was in the box, so... Oh well. Ooh. I'd like to buy that glass armor that prevents damage once, but I don't have the money to afford it anymore. Ah, oh, and I can't even enter the shop because I don't have a bomb. Unfortunate. I'll find a bomb somewhere. Uh, though that is a down arrow trap, I believe. So I don't want to touch that. Where are these cutscenes I was promised? I was promised cutscenes. I'll have to figure out how to get them later. Maybe they're after the uh, bosses. So I'm hoping that the final boss is the Necrodancer. I mean, I'm assuming it is. I've been looking forward to that for a while. Ballet shoes. That allows you to stand still and keep your beat, which isn't too terribly useful. The Infernal Torch is pretty cool. If you hit a torch like this, it gives you a fireball. Now, as you can see, the flail is pretty good. One of the better items. I usually prefer range, such as with a bow or a crossbow, but this is definitely a close second to range for me. And I did not get any bombs, and my shovel isn't powerful enough to open... Oh wait, I did get bombs. What am I talking about? that, and I'll take that, and I will eat that, and now I am relatively tanky. These foul issues are actually helping quite a bit with my, uh, failure. So maybe they're not so useless after all. They're pretty good when you're playing bad. So I'm probably not going to continue the daily challenges anymore. Instead, I'm just going to do story mode attempts. Should be fun. 
So story mode is basically hardcore mode, only you have to do it three times with uh, three different characters, and one of them is really difficult. I doubt I'm ever going to beat story mode, but... Deep blues. Well, that's new. Cool cut-ins for the chess boss here. So the chess boss fight is, in my opinion, the easiest boss in the entire game. Super easy. I guess if you had the uh, dagger still, it might be a little bit difficult, but I find it really useful. Or, uh, not really useful, really easy. Um, I already have a good weapon, so there's a pretty good chance that the equipment chest on the right here will be pretty bad for me. The item chest has usually always got something pretty good. But I could also use a spell. So I think I'm going to open the purple chest, which has a chance of giving me a spell. And it did give me a spell. It gave me the heal spell. Um, I don't know how that is affected by the Ring of Mana. Because it only healed me for half a heart like it normally does. Maybe it takes less kills to recharge? I think that might be it, requiring less kills to recharge. Let's go. Dad was always coming and going on his adventures. But this time he seemed more excited. He said he'd found it. Some great treasure. When I was older, I found the notes he left behind. Directions to a graveyard. Uncle Eli tried to stop me. But Dad had been gone for two years. I had to find him. Well, there are the cutscenes I was promised. Yay, cutscenes. Alright. Let's see what's going on in the shop here. Karate Gi! Oh boy, my old friend. I don't want that. And I finally know what this thing does. This is the Ring of Becoming. If you use the Transmute spell on it, it becomes a god tier ring that I don't remember the name of. So if you can find a Transmute spell or a Transmute scroll, we can make that thing really good. Ow, fuck. Alright, so we're on floor, uh, zone 2 which is where things get slightly difficult. Not usually too difficult. I usually don't have too much trouble until Area 3. Area 4 is going to be a pain, considering I've never done it before. That was a mistake. Wow, I am fucking things up. I need armor. I don't have any armor right now, and that's bad. I could take the Karate Gi, but that would be even worse. Yeah. Oh wow, I get four... You can see the spell counter on the right there. It's going down by four for each time I kill an enemy instead of one like it normally does. So my heal spell recharges super fast with this ring. Which is pretty damn good. That was a little bit scary, but I went through it. It's going to be hard for me to remember to actually use it as much as I can. Uh, Blood Whip. No thanks, I'll keep my uh, Flail. I really like the Flail, it's a really good weapon. And I just got to remember to use Heal whenever it's up, which seems to be every... Okay, 15 divided by 4. That's math. It's four, right? Every four kills? Yeah, every four kills I can heal myself half a heart, so that's pretty powerful. I just need to remember to use it. And I'm probably going to keep the ballet shoes, if I'm going to be completely honest. Because I am playing really badly. And I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Bomb immunity, plus three bombs. I'll grab the bombs and then take this back. Three bombs, why not? This used to be a lot better. It used to be bomb immunity plus one defense, which was just insane. Like, it was unbelievably how good that helmet was. It was easily the best helmet in the entire game. 
That plus one defense is amazing. So I'm getting back into the groove of things, even with my uh, commentating excuse. And I haven't needed to use heal in a while, which is good. The biggest issue with uh, the flail is you don't have range, meaning that those uh, mushrooms, which are normally extremely easy to beat, can be slightly more difficult. They're still not too difficult, but they are normally a complete pushover if you have any range at all. And there's the transmute scroll, which unfortunately doesn't do us any good right now. Because we already uh, passed the floor with the Ring of Becoming. But I'll take it anyways. And maybe change these two items right here. Or save it for the next shop when I'll have three items to choose from. I think I'll do that. I'll save it for the next time I can use it on three different items. That sounds like a good plan to me. I saw you sparkle. You can't hide from me. If there's a sparkle in the wall, it means that there's a gem in it. But you can only get the gems when you're playing not hardcore mode. So because I am playing story mode, which is hardcore, uh, it becomes 25 gold instead, which is cool. Alright. Got a little rock dude here to start things off. Got some gold that I didn't even see. That's nice. Ham. Love me some ham. Ah! Frick! I didn't see the uh, bouncy pad. Gotta remember to heal as much as possible. Oh, frick. And I got the ham, in case shit gets too terrible. I would really, really like some armor. Having zero armor is not something that I am a fan of. Because I am not amazing at this game. I make mistakes, and when you make mistakes, you want to have a little bit of armor. What the hell? I must have missed a beat, because that didn't look like that should have happened. So that's what happens when you get hit when you have the freeze charm. It freezes all enemies on the map. Which is pretty good. And I will gladly take this armor. Plus 1.5 defense, that's amazing. And we have... What is this one? Random item? What don't I have? I have something of everything. So what would I like of these? I would not like a new weapon. I would not like new armor. Not like a new helmet. I'm really liking these boots considering how badly I'm playing, so I think I'm going to keep the boots. Uh, Brighter Torch could be good. Alright. Obsidian Torch. Cool. Good enough. And now that I have some armor going for me, and with this uh, heal spell, I should be good. Like, I don't see myself being in too much trouble. And you can kill mushrooms to uh, lower the timer on your uh, spells. Coral Riff! Coral Riff! Alright, I like this boss. This is uh, one of the newer bosses. It was added a couple patches ago. He is stupidly easy with a flail. Like, obscenely easy with a flail. At least his first form. His second form is slightly harder with a flail. But see exact see how easily I'm just destroying his uh, minions. Ow, frick. Yeah, his second form is a little bit more difficult with a flail. He's usually really easy if you have any range, and because I took damage, I don't get a choice of items at the end of the boss, unfortunately. Mom died when I was only seven. I heard Dad and Uncle Eli arguing after the funeral. Now I have no choice, Eli. I have to find the golden loot. And abandon your child? With these notes, it shouldn't take long to find. 
what was so important about golden loot? Ha, I get it. And now we're on zone three, which is pretty difficult. In my opinion, the hardest area in the game, which makes sense because until this last patch, it was the last area of the game. You got tough enemies, you got things that leave ice and uh, coals on the ground all the time. It's a mess. So because I have the golden pack, I can hold an unlimited amount of items. So, believe it or not, my uh, ham did not go away, it's just later in my list of items. And there's more cheese, which I will gladly take, because I have an unlimited amount of storage space. I might as well get as many uh, hold items as I possibly can. Ice Dragon, which I couldn't tell because of the uh, the glasses. That's one downside of the glasses. They're usually really good. Oh, and we've got ourselves a Leprechaun that I've got to kill quickly. So I can get his Lucky Charm! Gives you a chance to find better items, which only applies to the next floor and beyond that you go on. So I can't find any better items on this floor, but starting next floor, I will. Yeah. Frick. So if you don't move off the coals on the turn that you land on them, you take damage. It's a very minor amount of damage, but it is damage. Some of the transitions between stages have less sound now, and that's kind of confusing me when I'm used to them having a, a sound. And I'm forgetting to use the heal as much as humanly possible, which is a poor decision of mine. I should be close to invincible with this particular set of items. So, I wouldn't be surprised if I made it. If I make it to Area 4. Whether I can beat Area 4 is another matter entirely, because I have no idea what's in store for me there, but... We'll cross that road when we get to it. Obsidian Cat, pretty good. I think the Flail is slightly better. Ever so slightly better. Yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good. I've gotten into the groove. I'm used to playing while talking. I'm still missing beats here and there. But my uh, ballet slippers are making up for that little downside. So the ice is one of the most frustrating parts of uh, Zone 3. It's a lot better if you have something that can counteract it, like levitation, or um, what else can counteract it? There are certain types of boots that can do it, mainly levitation like I mentioned already. I didn't even see that was a wall. Getting a little bit surrounded, which is fine, I'm fine, I'm cool, everything's fine. No need to worry. I'm doing pretty good. More uh, healing items. 
I'd like more gold, but I feel like I would rather have the heal. Obsidian Rapier. Rapier is pretty good. It's got range. And like I mentioned, I usually really like range, but I think I'm going to stick with the flail. I've been doing pretty good with the flail. Haven't made too many terrible mistakes, I say as I make a terrible mistake. But I have ways to outheal my terrible mistakes. So it's fine. Also, Flail's a really easy way to kill those dudes, who I forget the name of, the little goblin dudes. So let's go to the boss of Zone 3 and make it to Zone 4. That's going to be hype. King Conga! Ah, uh, the Conga line. One of my least favorite bosses, especially when you don't have range. When you have range, this guy's usually really easy, but I don't have range. So let's give him a shot. The reason he's hard is he has this little gap in the uh, beat. So, you have to remember to stop. So, trying very hard not to miss a beat. I beat him, but I took damage multiple times during the fight, so no bonus for me. We were so happy together. Until my mother got sick. I just want to help you, Melody. Can't you see that? There's a reason my mother took that thing away, Dorian. Don't go. I have to find it. I, I have to risk it. Oh my god, what is going on? So this is zone 4. I have never done this zone before, so I don't know what to expect. Frick, how do you avoid that thing? I'll have to learn the moves of these new enemies and their patterns and stuff. Okay, these bird things seem pretty annoying. Whoa, what the hell just happened? Okay, apparently when you kill those things you get shrunk. I am learning. deal with this thing. He teleported to me last time. I don't know how to deal with this guy. Okay, so those boots are pretty good. They give you a uh, plus five defense. That item's not very good. I don't know how I'm supposed to kill this thing. Like, last time it did a teleporty thing to me. I still don't get it. Whoa. What on earth is happening? I don't even know anymore. Sometimes he just teleports at you and then you can hit him? I don't know. That confusion spell is obnoxious. So I guess expecting to clear this entire room is a bit 
not a thing. I don't think I'm going to be able to clear this entire room. I should just leave. This is a learning process, and I'm currently doing poorly at figuring out what's going on. At least when it comes to the, uh, the rapier guys. Um, plus 5.5 defense instead of the uh, strange vision. I think that's worth it. And I can actually see the designs on these enemies, which is cool. Ow, frick. Okay, those beetles are the enemies that I saw on the walls. Okay, so these green tiles are what shrinks you. Oh, holy fuck, I'm almost dead. Okay, shrines that I don't want. I do not want any of those shrines. It looks like they, uh, look different when you can attack them. I still don't know what triggers that look, but... I'm doing terribly, holy crap. I'm getting used to some of the enemies. Can I blow this up? Can, and I can get some food from it. Nice. I would like to find the shop if possible. And there it is. Speak of the devil. What the fuck? How do you hit this thing? I'm going to the next level. I'm going to need to figure out how to deal with those guys. I don't want any of these. I guess I'll take the transmute. Might as well. This area is easy enough to just beat. I like the new music. Okay, I've found out how to deal with these scarab things. Still don't know how to deal with the, uh, rapier dudes, but I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Down to only one item. How do I do this guy? has to be a pattern that I'm just missing. I just can't figure it out. There just has to be a pattern that I don't get.
I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually, but today is not that day, I don't think. want any of those. Let's go ahead and transmute them. Oh, the song's over. Whoops. Dead That's I too. Ringer. Dead Ringer. I think this is a new boss. I haven't seen this guy before. So I'm probably going to die because I have no idea how to fight him. Invincible. That sounds fun. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I have to hit the colored gongs? I... I don't know. I guess I couldn't figure out his mechanics fast enough. Well, there's the seed in the bottom right if you want the random seed. That's going to do it for today's Crypt of the Necrodancer. Hopefully next time I'll be able to beat the game and go on to the next character that you have to beat the game with, Melody. Hmm. So after a certain point the bells just disappeared. I think I hit, had to hit a certain number of them. And at this point my flail wasn't doing very much damage. I shouldn't have gotten rid of the glasses, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I should have gotten rid of the glasses. That was probably a mistake. I was doing so little damage to everything. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks for watching.